Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install a fresh copy of OS X Sierra um, on your MacBook after upgrading from an HDD to an SSD. Here you're seeing a list of all the ingredients needed. And then let's get to it. The first thing you want to do is back up all your data. Then you have to pre prepare a bootable flash drive. And you do this by opening the App Store, downloading a fresh copy of OS X Sierra. This fresh copy will be found in the Applications folder by default. After that, you plug in um, a USB flash drive into your MacBook and rename it USB. After that, um, you open Terminal and copy paste the path found in the description below into your terminal. Then you press Enter. You will be asked for your password. Type in your password, press Enter, then press Y and wait a couple of minutes. After it's done, you eject the flash drive and move on to step two. When buying a new SSD, before you install it in your laptop, the very first, first thing to do is to format the hard drive. This is the SSD that I bought. It's a Toshiba Q300. And the first thing you need is you need an external hard drive case for two and a half inch hard drives. This I bought for like 15 euros. After that, you can use this for your old hard drive that you replaced. So you plug it in. Yep, like that locks into place and now the disk you inserted is not readable by this computer so ignore So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Disk Utility. In Disk Utility, there's a Toshiba Q300. And I am going to erase it. And I'm going to do Mac OS X. So Macintosh HD. And erase. It's going to be formatted. So you will be able to and now that's asking me if I want to use it as a backup disk. Don't use. The erase process is complete. So now what I have to do. I have to eject it. That was it. Just eject it. So all you need is a mini Phillips screw screwdriver. Turn it off. So, shut down. So, 
next thing you want to do is remove the screws. So then you can lift it up here and remove the plate. That's your battery. So if you want to change your battery, then all you have to do is unscrew it here and there. What we're gonna do is replace this beauty here. Hitachi. You wanna remove this screw and this screw. Then lift it out. already you don't want to bend this cable just remove it with your hands so this was a Hitachi Apple certified hard drive and this is the hard drive that's gonna come in Toshiba Q300. Remove these pieces. These are also special screws from the old hard drive. And you want to screw them in here. There and there. So this will add some stability to the system. By the way, you can get these special tools on eBay for only a couple of bucks. This one is made by this company, HFA Tool. And the other one came with an iPhone service kit. But actually, if you buy this kit, you will get the same mini screwdriver with it and you will get this. That's actually a small torque screw. So the MacBook Pro in this model had an SATA2 connection. And the new hard drives, which you can get today, are SATA3, but that should not disturb you because they are three is compatible with two. So that should work out well. So this is the way it's going to go in. Okay, that's it. Put back everything together. Okay, that's it. So, now we have our hard drive inside. And now what we want to do is we want to turn on the computer.
it needs quite a bit until it boots. It takes a couple of minutes, so let's just skip it. So, after loading, this is how it looks like. If you want to install a new Mac OS, like I do, then I just put it continue. So, press not continue again. Agree. Macintosh HD. And it's about to finish.